I want to work with a somewhat tangled example of change, growth, healing, evolution, whatever word really works for you in someone's process. Stephanie Swafford, rapidbodymindclarity.com here. So years ago in one of my uh, initial energy classes, we were talking about how do you measure change? How do you measure a difference in someone's process? And uh, one of my colleagues in class brought up this woman he knew who had been a prostitute working for a pimp. And in time, she became a call girl, no longer working for the pimp. And the question was, is this, is this a moment of healing? Yes, no, kind of heated discussion around this. And for me, yeah, yeah. This, this was a difference. This was something that supported her well-being. Think about it. Set aside the fact that she's still a prostitute. Maybe that serves her on some level. We don't know. That's a judgment call that uh, probably has no place in the healing process. But look at this, she's no longer working for a pimp who sets her calendar and takes a cut of her money. She decides who she works with, when she works, how she works, what her fee is. Is that not in support of her healing process? Now, Again, let's go back to, well, she's still a prostitute, and maybe that serves her. Maybe this is as far as she can go. Maybe she doesn't want to go any farther. Maybe she does, and this is the new foundation that she can build off, build on to change even more. I bring this up because Sometimes we can fall into an agenda of, well, no, you really haven't done, and you should be here by now, and it would be better if, and, stop. That's us. That's our concept of what someone's healing is. What if this was the exact healing for this woman at this time? Tricky, not easy, and worth honoring, isn't it? What are your thoughts on this? Share, teach us more. Contact me directly at rapidbodymindclarity.com. I'm always up for a good conversation. Until next time, thanks so much. Cheers.